Hello, everyone. You're listening to the SBC Radio Show. I'm Greg Ravery, alongside my partners... Dan Abington and Jerry Monroe. And today we got some interesting topics coming up. First, we're going to be discussing the Eagles quarterback situation. Then we're going to move on to the Phillies' recent struggles. And lastly, an interesting topic of where DeAndre Swift, the number one all-purpose running back out of St. Joe's Prep High School, will go to college. He's narrowed it down to five. But first, let's start with the Eagles. Now, Jared, I know you have an interesting um, opinion on this, and you as well, Dan. Where do you see Carson Wentz falling in between Sam Bradford and Chase Daniel? Personally, I think Carson Wentz should start over Sam Bradford because Sam Bradford has a losing record in his career. He's very injury-prone. He has shown slight uh, flashes of greatness. But other than that, he's not an elite quarterback. We need someone who can lead this team and doesn't complain. He complained all the time that he wasn't getting enough playing time, and he, he didn't want to leave. So we don't want a leader like that in this organization. I want Carson Wentz starting. He looks like a better prospect to me. No, I'm going to have to disagree with you there, Jared. I mean, I think Carson Wentz is going to be a great quarterback. I agree that Sam Bradford is an elite, but I think Sam Bradford needs to start for this team this year. He has experience. Carson Wentz needs to learn under his tutelage. And I think that if Sam Bradford gets hurt, Carson Wentz isn't even going to come off the bench. I think Chase Daniel is going to be the backup quarterback for this team. You see, I take a position in between sort of both of you here. Dan, I kind of agree with Sam Bradford starting, but, I mean, we need to get the little the new kid some playing time. And as the season progresses, I mean, I don't think that Bradford's going to make it through a whole season. That's a big if. Maybe he can, but we're not sure, and he most likely will not. However, if he does get hurt, it depends on the week. I think they might throw in Chase Daniel. If not, then they'll throw in Carson Wentz. But I do think Carson Wentz will get a little bit of playing time before the end of the season, not including preseason. Now, onto the Phillies. Last night they had a big win, and they finally put some runs on the board. Um, what did you think about the pitching performance and um, just the sort of turnaround that we saw last night compared to our last couple weeks of woe? Well, I think Velasquez, he did well. We threw 90 pitches through five innings, which won't win a ball game in most parts because he needed to go 90 pitches in six or seven innings. That won't win a ball game. But I think it's too early to decide that he'll be a good starter. Because only one start, he won only five innings. But it was good run sport. He got eight runs. And a big inning helped him in the, with the, in the long run. And once again, the phone lines are open. 267-404-3799. We're going to hear Dan's opinion right now. And then we're going to get to the phone lines. Dan? Yeah, I would agree that Velasquez uh, was really good that he had that start last night. Uh, he was hurt for a while. The Phillies had him on the DL. But now uh, he's able to come back and really show that he's uh, a good pitcher again. All right, we got Teddy from Norristown. Teddy, what what is your thoughts on this opinion on this matter? Uh, what's going on, guys? I'm Larry Teddy. This is Larry from Old City. Um, you know, I just want to talk about you know the last couple of weeks with the Phils. Um, you know, seeing the first couple of weeks they were doing really well in one run ball games. Pitchers with you know lights out, Nola Velasquez. You know, even, uh, you know, guys like Adam Morgan were, you know, pitching uh, into these six innings sometimes. And, you know, I think we've seen that that fell off. So, you know, I just wanted to get your, your taste on, you know, why, you know, this team is now 12 games under 500 and really not, you know, able to do anything. You know, I'm a believer. I think this is a World Series team next year. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to get your thoughts. And uh, thanks for taking my call, guys. Love the show. All right, thanks. Thanks, thanks Larry. Um, so... What he asked was what he, what we thought on the recent woes of the team. And basically, I don't think this team was ever supposed to be good. It was yeah. kind of a fluke that they started out the way they did. And um, now we're just seeing what they really are and not a over 500 team. Yeah, the only offensive production right now is coming from the outfield. I mean, Adubal Herrera, Cody Ashey, they're both out there uh, being the best hitters on the team. And that can't be what's going to happen for this Phillies team. I mean, Cody Ashley is not going to be a player in the future of this team. And when he's one of the best hitters on your team, you know that you're in trouble. Yeah. It's a lack of hustle, too. Now, I've been hustling out ground balls, having a hustling out in defense, and the run support has not been there. They cannot score runs. Your best hitter is hitting 300, which is pretty good. He's our best player. But Cody Ashley, really? I don't think we can count on that. All right, and our last topic of the day, this five-star recruit out of St. Joe's Prep in Philadelphia – DeAndre Swift, and Dan, what are his top five schools right now? Uh, right now, the top five contenders are Florida State, Penn State, Clemson, Georgia, and Alabama as the final one. So some very uh, top-tier schools there that DeAndre is choosing from. I mean, he's the number one 
all-purpose back in the country. And uh, I would expect to see him uh, go to one of the more high-profile ones. Yeah, I mean, recently the football team was at a service trip in Penn State. You might see something there. I know Georgia is pursuing him much, also a lot. It'll be interesting to see where he ends up this fall. Definitely, or next fall, excuse me, he's going to have a great senior season ahead of him. We know that and looks to carry the Hawks to another state championship. That's all time for that's all what we have time for tonight. I'm Greg Rabbery alongside my partners Dan Abington and Jeremy Monroe. Thank you for listening to the Sports Broadcasting Center Radio.